technology seems to be driving urban development and uh, would now like to focus on how best we can harness technology to better improve efficiency around the country and in the counties as well. We are now joined by Danson Muchemi, who is the Chief Executive Officer for Jumbo Pay and also the brains behind the EGG Pay that we have in the country today. Thank you so much for joining us. A lot is happening, uh, you know, with technology that is driving, I guess, all spheres of uh, development and business efficiency as well. But how would you evaluate the current uptake of technology in improving urban development? Well, uh, thank you for that good question. Well, uh, technology comes in uh, two folds. One is to drive efficiencies, that is uh, helping uh, get to bridge the gap between uh, the citizens and especially in public sector and uh, the governments. Secondly is uh, to introduce transparency, that is uh, give visibility and as a result you have uh, ability to plan. Uh, so we see a lot of, uh, in this part of the world, uh, we've seen a lot of uptick, especially in financial services, of which we are in, uh, developments towards uh, providing services on mobile, on web, and uh, such other technologies. Right. The uptick has been, uh, in, in the urban centers, especially in Nairobi, has been uh, quite uh, remarkable. Mm -hmm. uh, Nairobi, for example, is one city, the only city in Africa that has a 100% cashless uh, uh, payment service uh, mm -hmm. for, for various uh, services that is provided by the county government. And uh, so that is a good move towards that. As much as uh, we still have a lot of uh, cash or manual payment systems, I mean, uh, manual transactions happening, yeah. and a lot of uh, aspects of the city are still not automated, but there is a deliberate uh, effort uh, supported by uh, to create a spike partners. for it. Yeah. All right, so we have mobile banking and mobile money services that have created opportunities for uh, technology companies to provide solutions that are cash-based uh, and also increase e-payment uh, solutions as well. Uh, but from where you sit, considering you are the brains behind the EGG pay that we have in Nairobi today, uh, that is also helping in collection of revenue as well as land rates, how would you say that the rest of the country can be able to tap into this potential? Uh, I think uh, uh, other county governments, because to have a service like that, Nairobi moved ahead and with the support of the World Bank uh, yeah. through the Ministry of ICT, that, I mean ICTA, uh, ICT Authority. I think uh, uh, other, other, other governments, uh, like county governments, should move in, and uh, I think with the support of the national government and, and try to implement uh, these technologies. We still have a lot of... Uh, Technology is necessary, especially in rural areas, mm -hmm. uh, where we have uh, underdeveloped infrastructure. Because technology helps bridge that gap between uh, the people and where the services are. And uh, rural areas are, uh, you know, they, they, they are wide. They are, you have vast uh, geographic areas that ought to be a challenge, that are a challenge to uh, the citizens. And as such, I think. Uh, county governments should move towards uh, automation, and not just county governments, also the national government, because there are a lot of other services that are uh, uh, that need to be uh, moved to the grassroots. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. So you mentioned underdeveloped infrastructure, and I guess that is one of the challenges that the counties face as of now. And then it makes even the uptake of technology even more difficult. So um, are you experiencing the same challenge with trying to convince the county governments that they need to take up technology? Well, yes, uh, you we have a lot of uh, counties that are in uh, marginalized areas that have a problem with the networks. Mm -hmm. For example, they do not have uh, even computers, yeah. uh, they have no manpower or so sometimes uh, uh, inadequate uh, or not well trained uh, uh, personnel. Mm -hmm. uh, the hardware in terms of uh, connectivity sometimes is not, uh, they have areas that are not covered. So yes, we have a lot of that. Uh, but for us as uh, Jamupi, we have uh, worked out partnerships with, uh, for example, ISPs. So if we have an area that is uh, not covered, or has a poor infrastructure in terms of connectivity, we are able to uh, mobilize uh, our partnerships in, uh, in, in, in that sector to, to deploy that. But yes, there is a lot of uh, work that needs to be done uh, both by the national governments, the county governments, and other development uh, partners to uh, have uh, this infrastructure developed 
uh, so that uh, other applications can ride on, on, on the infrastructure that exists. All right, because yes. currently one of the fears uh, with uh, gas companies that are trying to take up uh, technology as a driver of sustainable development is the fact that sometimes you'll have system failure. And this system failure comes at a time you do not expect it. Do you have backup plans, say, with your EGG pay system uh, in Nairobi County when there is a situation of system failure? Thank you for that good question. Indeed, uh, over the years, uh, because this is our third, that we are moving to the third, this is the second year, mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, developed uh, uh, the requisite backup plans on the networks, at the application level, the hardware. Uh, in fact, uh, if you look at uh, 20, 2016, we have had a uh, uh, very, very, very low, uh, cumulatively not even uh, five minutes of uh, downtime. Uh, but uh, generally, uh, there is a, a need for even governments because as a service provider, you could uh, work very hard to provide a very efficient and uh, with redundant uh, service. Uh, but you have uh, a responsibility, for example, you find a lot of times you are integrating into uh, systems that sit at the county governments that ought to be kept up. So a lot of times you find there are weaknesses at the uh, client side uh, or mm. uh, government side uh, because they may not have uh, power backup systems and so forth. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a scenario that uh, has to be, or a situation that has to be dealt with by uh, both uh, service providers like ourselves right. and uh, the clients. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would, I'm happy to report that Nairobi has made tremendous uh, efforts or steps towards uh, ensuring that they have a service that is 100% uh, available. All right. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Damson. We do appreciate the time taken to educate us about business solutions for urban development and how that is going in the counties. Definitely, uh, underdeveloped infrastructure is one of the biggest challenges that technology companies or technology solution companies are facing in the country today with uh, the underdevelopment there. And uh, well,